Greetings one and all, Joshino here, and today I am going to be going over the 20th of May Medic Update Patch, which has been out for around a day now. I am mainly going to be giving a first look at the VS Terminus and also the NC NC9 A Tross, which with any more dashes may make it unpronounceable. I will also go over a few of the other changes which are quite noticeable. So first of all is the NC Tross, which is another 200 damage weapon, sharing the maximum damage profile of the ACX-11, although there are some key differences between the weapons. First of all, the minimum damage of the Trost is higher at 167 damage, opposed to the 143 damage at 85 meters the ACX-11 has. Also, the stuck muzzle velocity is higher at 600 meters per second, as opposed to the ACX-11's 480. These both equate to an advantage at range, getting to your enemies faster and also doing more damage, even when they are far away, something that was a bit of a setback with the ACX-11. Also, another big advantage is that the Tross has a full magazine of 30. What the Tross loses, though, is a small amount of fire rate, 31 to be precise, at 469, and also a larger 3.15 second reload, which is quite high. I will mention that in the gameplay I'm sorting the weapon out, and as present I have the advanced forward grip and the high velocity ammunition with a 2x scope. Whilst there is a bit of a need to compensate vertically, and some bursting at range, it is fairly comfortable but a compensator may make it more spammable. However, at the moment I am very much enjoying it, as I did with the Carbine Amigo. At range it is competitive, and at medium ranges where it is easy to line up headshots, enemies fall instantaneously, and it can easily cope with 2-3 to three enemies per magazine when controlled this way. The Tross does suffer up close and personal, however, like the ACX-11, at ranges where you don't miss any shots, say 3 meters, the damage makes the weapon act like a shotgun, and can be quite deadly. The Tross doesn't look especially snazzy, but the sound profile is a little different to other NC weapons, almost having a hint of Vanu Pulse. So all in all, the Tross is an interesting weapon, and something very fun to use, like the ACX-11, and I can see myself using it quite a lot. The VS Terminus, however, is not such an exciting weapon. It fits the gap between the Pulsar VS-1 and the HV-45, with some control whilst being fairly fast firing. Currently, I am running it with the Ford Grip due to buying the thing with certs and bankrupting myself. It looks very much like the Zenith Carbine, and the sound is quite like the other Vanu Scout Rifles, although it isn't really anything special in the looks and sounds department. I feel that the Terminus does its job well, and is a competent assault rifle. It is versatile and is useful in all set situations, but not the best of any, so I don't have too much enthusiasm for it. I'm not sure I will keep with it. I may just go back to the HV-45 for my medicking needs but it does feel fairly solid. Something big to mention about the update is the introduction of the ability to pull lightnings at any base with a vehicle terminal, even small facilities, and also the addition of galaxy terminals to all towers and bases with air terminals. The first of the two is in my opinion quite a nice addition, as the tanking side of things has been getting quite stale. With big lightning pushes you can actually stand a chance against enemy armour advancing from a larger facility, whereas before Sundays and harassers could do little to stop the pushes. I've seen a mass push from Karamed to Indar X with lightnings and they were able to destroy a lot of VS armour and Sundays and it was pretty epic. The change to the road from NS material down to Howling Pass has also been flattened and widened so hopefully there'll be some good lightning versus tank battles there. The galaxy changed, combined with the prior ability to spawn on squad galaxies means that galaxies are now a much quicker and viable spawn point for your squad and my squad was able to go very fast from Indar X to Helios during the alert and make a drop. This is quite nice, and sky whales are oh so majestic. Another little change worth mentioning is the Zenith ammo reserve has been increased by 30, which was a massive drawback of the weapon and is very welcome, as it felt like you went through bullets in a micron. The explosion sound has also been made universal, which actually really bugs me, but playing long enough, you drown it out of your mind. Higby also commented on Reddit that they were working on this, so let's hope that this will change. Also, there is an odd hit sound now. It sounds like something is charging up. I'm not really a fan of it. But the little marker showing you've done explosive damage is quite nice. On the other hand, there is a new network notifier which, which pops up near the top of your checkbox, which I just find to be unnecessary. And the new circular network status symbol on your leaderboard menu is very ugly. It looks pixelated around the edges. Wait, you ask, what about implants? Well, to be honest, I don't think I've seen enough of the implants to give any good opinion on them. I haven't seen the rate of the drops long enough to really judge or even tried out each one yet. I might make something later. 
In any case, I don't want to get my verbal pitchfork out just yet. So thanks for watching everyone. Go out and have fun with the update. And if you enjoyed the video, hit like and comment with any questions. Also, if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Also, there is a competition going on, and that'll be below. Thanks for watching. Joshino.